know what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rip the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. Belief about no, I'm on the phone. Yeah, yeah. Looking at my baby. No, no, no. I ain't looking at him. I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. All right, man. Next time we come outside, don't be staring and shit like that. I don't like that. I wasn't looking at him. All right, man, I told y'all this was coming up. The word on the street is that uh, David Benavidez could be challenged, could be fighting Jesse Hart next. Um, so, yeah, I heard down the street. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Um, so, uh, Targeting signal to die. We'll grab that later on today. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I heard it was talking name was tied to Benavidez for the longest. Um, and now they're saying Jesse Hart. Now Jesse Hart was signed by Top Rank at one point. Um, even her, they took care of Jesse Hart. Um, even though they heard they took care of Jesse Hart to sign a bonus, gave him a whip. Hold on. Obviously, it didn't pan out versus Gilberto Ramirez. And then he lost to, I think it was Joe Smith Jr. And I think Top Rank might have just said, you know what? He ain't what we thought he was going to be. And looking at Jesse Hart, all the physical talent is there. He just couldn't take a punch. You know? And with Gilberto Ramirez, he, he figured it out in the first fight. In the second fight, you know, I don't know. But... You know, Jesse Hart just wasn't, you know, what they thought he was. And nonetheless, he's still a talented fighter. Maybe, you know, kind of getting out on his own and figuring out what he did wrong, you know, make him a tougher fighter. But, you know, but if he, you know, you know, if he can be stationary, I mean, he got some, you know, experience versus Gilberto Ramirez, which he found out is a big guy. He got him experience. You know, he he's a puncher. Joe Smith Jr. is a puncher. So, he got more experience than David Benavidez in there with, you know, better opposition, especially, you know, especially 75, 68, you know. And they kind of coddled him on the way up, though. That was the issue. You know, they coddled him on the way up. And, um, you know, but, you know, and he fought Ramirez, you know, it's like he hadn't fought anybody, and it was like he was a learning experience. But, you know, most people still gonna expect David Benavidez to, you know, do what he do, handle his business, and um, and defeat him. You know, it's as simple as that. You know, and defeat him. But, um, but at the end of the day, it's something different. I don't know if Jesse Hart gonna sign a, a deal with Showtime or sign a, a contract with Al. If he win, he sign with him. You know, but then again, it's just somebody else they got to throw in there, probably to fight Jamal Charlo, uh, somebody else they got in there to be an opponent for, um, Caleb Plant, Andy Durrell, if he continue to go on, who's Tagi. I mean, there's some fights over there at 68, so it's not like Jesse Hart is squeezing down at 68. That, uh, Benavidez, and that's the rumor, Benavidez is the interim WC title holder, so, you know, it ain't the first time that top rank has dropped a fighter in PBC to pick them up, they dropped on there. Um, and Donier ended up getting a, world, a couple world titles after that. You know, they dropped Elvis Rodriguez after he lost to Kenneth Sims. Funny enough, you know, Ken, top rank or nobody else didn't sign Kenneth Sims. Very talented fighter out of Chicago. You know? So, you know, kind of funny looking at it. You know, and Kenneth Sims put on a hell of a performance. And he's still kind of, you know, kind of on the kind of on the smaller market and all that type of stuff. But good family, too, man. So, hell of a fighter. But, you know, he continued to go on. I mean, that's still, it's, it's different. Better than Uzutagi, I would guess. Um, it's a different matchup. But, uh, you know, once again, you know, this don't get Benavidez no closer than to Canelo Alvarez. You know, this don't get him no closer to... You know, the glory of, of Preston Canelo Alvarez and Al Heyman, you know, they want Al Heyman to make that Charlo fight. That's what they want. They want Al Heyman to make that Charlo fight. And Al Heyman refused to make that Charlo fight. 
So it ain't it ain't really nothing that, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really nothing they can do about it. You know? It's not. I'm talking about Benavidez. It's Showtime. And, and if, you know, the deal with Showtime is up in, in January, and Al Heyman still don't want to deliver the word on the streets. Al Heyman working with, he trying to he trying to do everything outside of show that Steven S. Miller's trying to do everything outside of Showtime to deliver. Outside of Al Heyman to deliver this, you know, Bellatar, you know, it's working with Samson directly on the front door fight this weekend. Um, so, I mean, I, you know, like I said before, it's like pulling teeth and people still don't see the problem with Al Heyman. It's like pulling teeth to give a product that people want to see. It's literally like pulling teeth with that man. That's what it is. We're asking, hey man, we just want to see this part of regular TV. You know, we willing to put the money up for it. He's like, no. Nah. And then, you know, the word on the street is Al Heyman, the 160, the 60 million they was given annually. Al Heyman was allegedly taking that money and pocketing it. I'm telling y'all, man, these dudes, these dudes are getting paid. These these big promoters and all managers and all, they get more money than anybody else, bro. And they trying Floyd trying to say you that the fighters are getting the, the lion's share of the pot. You got to be a fool. He not getting the lion's share of an Al Heyman. You know? So at the end of the day, I mean I guess, you know, you gotta remember Benavidez, guess what? Another Samson boxer. Even though Al is the manager and all that type of stuff. So basically they want to see where the money going at. If the product was good, wouldn't nobody wouldn't nobody complain. Why give a hell where that money going? But when, when shit looking bad and, 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 you know, you got to, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, being at the crib when you got a budget. You know, what's the first thing to go? You know, necessities, apps, you know, back in the day, Blockbuster, Starbucks coffee. When you got to cut back cable, we're going to cut back just the internet and fire sticks. And, you know what I'm saying? I did want that new car, but we're going to stick with Old Faithful. You know, trips and all that. And everybody go through ups and downs. Who ain't wealthy? This is how it is, you know. Those people can't afford to be sick. They said most Americans don't have 500 million saved up that they can just touch. So, when you know, they, they sit there and they looking at it. And they looking at the budget. Like, where the money going? So, that's what, saying, that's what they trying to do. Work with everybody but... Now, now, you know, Top Rank got that exclusive contract with uh, ESPN and Walt Disney Networks. So, to me, that's smart. But one thing, you know, one thing it ain't, you know, one thing they could have did, they could have took some dates off Showtime too, if they didn't have that exclusive contract. They could have took some dates off Showtime. That really would have stuck at the Al Hamlin. But yeah, you know, they said Harden Benavidez is is in the process. And like I said before, I mean what's what's changing if you, you know, Espinosa? And the one thing that's that's changing, even though you're giving the same caliber of fights without Al Heyman, you know, they said Al and Steven Espinosa was was they gave Al the 60 million and Espinosa still was paying the salary. That sound like a fire that sound like a fireable offense to me. If, if that's allegedly true. That's a little, the ledge is true. That sounds like a fireball fence. That sounds like they getting over. You paying him all that money and then peel or the sixty is for the fighters, not for not to fund Al Heyman lifestyle or fund his business portfolio. It's for the fighters, and the fighters not touching that money. Y'all want to know why he don't want to open up them damn books? Now you now you getting your answer. Now you want to see why he ain't opened up them damn books. Come on. And, and Steven Espinosa, you know, is in the same, is he in on he in on, on the con. Like on some better call saw shit. He in on the con. And I'm pretty sure he getting he getting something in the back alley too, allegedly. 
You know, and that's 60 million small potatoes to buy a con, but then when the number's not adding up, then it's a, an internal investigation that starts to show up. And if the alleged is true, where Espinosa, you know, they pay out a budget and, out, and Espinosa's still paying the, the fighter salary, come on. Now Espinosa telling Al Heyman, man, we can't continue this shit, we gotta deliver now. And Al like, no, nah, shit, we gonna keep doing the same thing. And Espinosa like, my ass on the line. And the thing about it is, if Espinosa's ass is on the line, all right, if his ass is on the line, well, they're bringing somebody else to run boxing. Al Heyman not going to be able to run that game on them. So, apparently, they deal up in 20, 2020 or 2022, January. So, if you don't get no schedule through the whole fall for them, you know, you ain't got a concrete schedule for nobody, honestly, at this point. And that only coming back this uh, winter, fall or winter, come back to next year. So, who you, who you really got? So ain't nobody top ranking came out with a full fledged schedule. You know? So. Mm -hmm. But yep, they someone just heard Ben and is is uh, batter up. So we'll see. I mean, you know. And if Al Heyman still, you know, he, they, they Johnny on the spot and they, they caught and they cover it up to say both of the ass still don't want to make big fights. I mean, what can you say? That's been his MO the whole time. He did the same thing with Birdo. That's what got him pushed off HBO along with Bob Arum hating. He got top dollar for Birdo, and Birdo ended up not being able to make it to the Floyd fight, losing to Victor Ortiz. Even though Floyd was generating money, you know, AT&T came in and bought HBO. They was like, man, who care what Floyd generate? You know what I'm saying? We don't care what the fuck that Pacquiao fight. That shit ain't never happening. And his pay-per-view number slipping. Man, get him the hell up out of here. We not going to be held hostage over them Floyd and Pacquiao. You know, the years down the line, it, it did happen. But it didn't happen immediately. AT&T was, you know, when they bought HBO, was what forced all that. And it was, the you know, it was either deliver now or get the hell off the network. Didn't he was gone? Bob didn't he was gone? And now you got to remember, Esmond Nose was at HBO first, and they running the same game on Showtime. And Showtime, like, dude, nah, man, we we not gonna continue to go through this. And can you blame him? Can you blame him? Can you blame him? I can't. I can't. So, it is what it is. But, you know, hard for me to be there. So, at the end of the day, man, it's, it's looking like, man, maybe I'll put some of them some of them fights in play. But I don't think so. And some of them fights ain't even know, like, shouldn't be an issue to make. You know, and then we're going to talk about later. I might even go live later. I don't know. But we're going to talk about later. We're going to talk about, you know, if I don't talk about it first, you know, some of his fighters starving. And he pulling the Bob Arum on him. But I'll explain that later if I remember. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase the chance of notifications. We go live with our video. Financially, want to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Memo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Hit the link tree. Take you everywhere. I'm producing content. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.